you can see google chrome gmail and file so now you can see battlegrounds mobile india so you can install this on your this laptop so guys this video is going to be very interesting if you are using low end pc and laptop because in this video i'm going to install chrome os in our windows laptop if you install this chrome os on your windows laptop which is low end pc so you can increase your productivity this chrome os will run very smoothly on that system and the best part is this will support google play store on your windows laptop okay so i will go through the complete process make sure you are not going to skip any step because if you skip any step you will not successfully install in your laptop or pc so i have laptop which is five year old and uh, which have 4 gb ram and intel fifth generation processor because chrome os work very smoothly with intel processors amd processors also supported it's uh, like uh, ryzen 3 and onwards so if you have ryzen 3 so it is going to work perfectly fine okay so for that we have to download some files so let's download it and it requires minimum 16 gb pen drive ready with that pen drive okay so open this chrome here i open all the tabs here and first we are going to download this linux mint you need to download this cinnamon edition this work perfectly fine click on download so scroll a little bit and here you will see 64 bit you can select any country like i am going to select this word and click on layer online and it will download this iso so it's a 2gb file so it will take some time and the next you need to download this rufus software to create the bootable usb click on this rufus 3.17 1.5 mb file next is you need to download this branch framework scroll little bit click on this branch r94 and i will put all these link in description you can just click on them and directly you can download next is chrome os image you need to download this here you need to listen carefully like if you have intel 4th generation processor cpu or newer version then you can use ramus and if you have third generation processor then you should download samus file and if you have ryzen third generation processor you need to download the zorg so in the website you can see here code name look for ramus if you have 4th generation and 4th generation onward processor because i have 5th generation so i'm going to download ramus one here you can see ramus i'm going to download this latest version 94 click on it and this will download this zip file and if you have third generation processor you can see here samus click on it and it will download for you okay so currently i'm canceling it because i have fifth generation processor which file is already downloaded and if you have ryzen 3 processor you can download this zorg okay so let it download all files here okay now we have downloaded all the files and let me show in folder and move all these files on my desktop so you can see i just move all these files on my desktop here you need to download one more file install.sh and this is just simple script okay you can see so we are going to use this file while installing this chrome os and make sure your system support uefi mode how you can check that your system supported uefi mode or not so just go on windows search and type your system info and you will get here system information app and here you can see bios mode uefi okay so if support then it is good to go okay so first open this rufus software and make sure you have plugged your 16 gb usb drive i have inserted my this 32 gb pen drive here so i'm going to make bootable usb of this linux mint click on select and select this desktop and we have this linux mint here double click on it and now it's selected so is the partition scheme so you need to select according to your partition scheme how you can check your partition schemes so right click over this windows icon and go to disk management here you just need to right click on your drive just right click and go to properties go into volumes here you will see partition style gpt so select that partition here so i'm going to select gpt okay and just click on start and click ok and it will remove everything from your pen drive make sure you have backup all the data from your pen drive so click ok meanwhile just create one folder on your desktop with the name of chrome os so now we have created this chrome os folder and here you need to extract all these two files here okay right click and click on extract to branch and it will extract on your desktop and same for this chrome os file okay so now we have extracted all these files okay so minimize this window and uh, open this chrome os 
and open this branch file and copy all these files or you can directly move to this chrome os folder okay and uh, close it open this chrome os extracted file and here you need to rename this file otherwise it is not going to work so make sure you are renaming as i am doing ramus underscore recovery dot bin if you have another file like uh, zork you can just type this name only okay because we have set this name in our this install dot sh so rename it and move this to our chrome os folder now everything in our chrome os folder close it let it complete this bootable usb process make sure you have moved this file to chrome os folder okay so now it's ready and close it and open your pen drive here linux mint and we are going to move this whole folder in our linux mint bootable pen drive okay so now it is copying so now we have prepared our USB drive to install Chrome OS in our Windows laptop. So just remove your pen drive from your laptop. So just press the BIOS key. So you can search on Google like uh, HP BIOS key, Lenovo BIOS key, whatever the laptop you have. You can search on Google and press that key and just boot into BIOS because you have to disable your secure boot. So I'm going to show you the complete process so don't worry about that. So I restarted my system and I am pressing F10 for HP to enter in the BIOS mode. So now you can see we have entered in our BIOS mode. So in your case, maybe it is different. So you just need to look for this boot option. Okay, so in my case, it is in system configuration. So press enter. And if you have different configuration and your secure boot is still enabled, then you can just select on this secure boot and disable it. In my case, it is disabled, you can see. You can see I have set this USB CD slash DVD room drive on the top. Okay, if it is not in your case on the top, make sure you have set it on top by pressing your f5 or f6 key after that just press f10 key to save the changes and after that just press again f9 key okay so now i am going to select my pen drive here so now system is booting from my pen drive so here you can see linux mint options so just select the first one and press enter So now here you can see we have installed this Linux Mint and make sure you are connected with your internet. So if you have Ethernet, you can connect your cable and if you have Wi-Fi, so you can connect that. Okay, so you can see I have this my Wi-Fi. I'm going to connect it. Now you just need to go into home and inside home go into file system and uh, here you need to search for that folder Chrome OS which we have copied in our USB drive and hit enter. Now you can see this chrome os double click on it so now here you will see install.sh so we have to run this file so for that you just need to right click and open in terminal and here you need to type some command like sudo sh install.sh and hit enter so here we are getting some error like cgpt needs to be installed so we are going to copy some command here so here you need to type this command i just got it from reddit apd update so hit enter and second command is sudo apt install cgpt so all these commands you will get in description so don't worry about that if you are getting this any error okay and make sure you have connected your internet next command you need to type here sudo apt install pv and hit enter so now all these three commands are successfully run and now we have to run that command again like sudo sh install sh and hit enter
and click more and accept and you can see find apps for work and play so you can install facebook instagram so i'm going to do it later just click on i agree hey google so if you want to connect your phone then you can but i'm going to click on no thanks you are all set and click on get started so now we have successfully installed this chrome os and in the taskbar you can see google chrome gmail and files and google meet and here you can see play store youtube in the left side you can see launcher and this is just like uh, android phone so now you can install any kind of app from this play store so open this play store and look for any app here so now you can see battlegrounds mobile india so you can install this on your this laptop so that's how you can play android games on your laptop so whenever you click here and you can see action center wi-fi connected bluetooth is on all things you are going to manage from here and if you want to shut down so you can click on this power button so it will be shut down and it is running smoothly because windows 10 or windows 11 not working perfectly fine on this laptop so okay guys that's how you can install chrome os in our windows laptop so okay guys that's it for this video i hope you like this video so just hit the like button and do subscribe if you are new on this channel so okay guys thank you so much for watching this video